Welcome back to Comment Shorts. In today's video, Brandy asks, is there any way the click to begin button on the header page can be moved in another spot other than directly in the middle? Great question. We never thought of moving this little button on our Sydney theme from our website with Sydney demo. So let's check it out. If we visit our demo site running the Sydney free WordPress theme, we can see we've successfully moved that button, which might look better depending on the complexion of your image. You might want to put that button here or in the corner, upper right, what have you. We just did that using some custom CSS. So what we wrote is right here, highlighted. You're going to write dot roll dash button, open bracket, and then use one of the CSS directional commands like top, bottom, left, or right to tell the button where to move, followed by, of course, that close bracket. If you use the top command like we've done here, the amount of pixels you write will tell the button to go that far from the top of the container, which in this case is the top of the image slider. So a higher number would push this button down. If you use the bottom command right here, then the button will go further and further away from the bottom of the screen as the number goes up. And that applies also to the right and the left commands. And you can use a combination, of course. All right, so now that you know that, you should be good to go, but let's recreate it just in case you wanna see how we figured it out so you can figure out your WordPress websites and your buttons and all your positionings too. Delete it, save it, we'll refresh and it will jump back up to where the Sydney developers put the button, which I think looks good, but hey, what do I know? So we're just gonna right click on it, click inspect here in Google Chrome, you don't have to use Google Chrome. I think there's that tool in the other browsers like Firefox, Internet Explorer, Opera. And then right away, it's gonna take us to the right HTML right here, that's highlighted on the left of my screen, and the right CSS, more importantly, on the right. We can scroll down and you can actually check or uncheck to make sure that the button is being affected. And you can move things around. It's pretty fun. Button could look like that if you got rid of the padding. But now that we know this is the right CSS selector, we just need to click on the dot roll dash button. Make sure you get the whole thing. And then right click copy. Come back to custom CSS with me. Right click paste. And now you can write it out. So open bracket. Let's say we want like top 190 again. And then left 150. We'll see what that looks like. Make sure to get your pixels in there. I believe you can also use the different measurements like EM. All right, so let me know how it works for you. Click save. And now we'll refresh. And we can see that button jumps around to our liking. All right, so I hope that helps you. I hope you can move your button so it looks perfect on top of whatever background images you have. This is all made possible because A-Themes, the creator of Sydney, made their code really easy for us to work with. So big thanks to A-Themes. And of course, big thanks to Brandy for inspiring this tutorial. That does it. Please make sure to subscribe so that you hear all the latest answers and you hear the answer to your question if you're featured. And you also get the latest in WordPress how tips for free, of course. All right, guys, thanks for watching because I really enjoyed making this for you. I'll see you next time.